the bun. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make a custom master slide using Google Slides. So I've got a custom master slide um, on this project here where I have got a nice gradient, blue to white gradient on each of the slides. So if I click through you'll be able to see that. I've got a title, a title um, section at the top which has got a yellow background colour and you can just about see, I hope you can see that there's a bit of a drop shadow to that too. And then I've got this sort of text box on all of the slides which again has got a custom colour to it, a lightish blue. And I have created that using Google Slides and if you have a look, when I click through, every slide has the same theme. Okay, so here's what you do. Go to View, Master. So to make your own theme, you're actually going to be working in the master slide. It always defaults to one of these layout options down the bottom here, but you need to click on the top one, the master one. It's quite important that, because whatever you do on this one, it will have global effects to all of the other different styles of layout. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So I'm going to click on the top one, and it's in here that I'm going to create my theme. So I'm going to choose my background. So I can choose a background colour from the solid fill colours or gradients and that's how I made my gradient theme um, on my, my example at the beginning. So I'll choose a gradient, uh, maybe that orangey one, okay, I'm going to go into there and I'm going to click on custom and this is the gradient that I've chosen but I can actually tweak this. So for example I can click on that part of the gradient and I can change it from that horrible brownie colour to maybe more of a light blue colour and you can see there that that's now gone from yellow to blue. I can change it from radial to linear um, and I can change the angle so I can have it going from different angles. I actually quite like it at 90 degrees going from that yellow to that light blue. Okay, um, I'm going to press OK. There are other things that you can do in there though. So if you don't want a gradient, again, you can just have a block, block solid colour or you can choose an image. Now, I actually created a nice background image using Photopea, which is something that you may choose to do, but there are actually lots of nice background images on websites like Pixabay, if you type in background, um, but I, I created this image in Photopea, so I'm going to click on open, and then click on done, and you can see there that the picture that I put on that top master slide has now filtered down to all the other slides. Okay. So I'm going to continue on this master slide at the top and I'm now going to sort out this text because you can barely read that text on the top of that background. I'm going to click on the edge and I'm going to go up here to the fill colour and I'm going to fill it in. And I'm going to choose a, a block yellow but again there are gradients that you can choose and you can create custom colours if none of those colours, literally every single colour of the whole imaginable world are in there. Okay, so I've chosen like some sort of darkish colour there. In fact, I might go back into that and change it to yellow. Okay, then the other thing that you need to do is the style. Now, I do not want you to start typing in this bit. This is not where you're creating your presentation. This is just where you're setting the style. And I'm going to set the style of the font. I don't want Arial. I'm going to change it to something else. So you might have on your plan exactly what font styles that you want to use and it's at this point that you change them, okay? I'm going to click into this text box now underneath and I'm going to choose, just click on the edge and again I'm going to click on the fill and I'm going to click on, um, hmm, let's see, go to custom, let's see if there's anything in there. I might choose yellow again, so I'll drag that over to yellow. I'm going to bring the transparency down. I don't want it. A, I don't want it a, a pure filled yellow. I want to be able to see through it, see my splashes underneath. Okay, so there you go. Then I'm going to highlight the text because I think the text on that is not black, and I want to make sure that it's purely black, so that we can properly read it um, and all of the levels underneath. So those levels are when you, you maybe do some um, um, bullet points. So that will be be set to there. Um, to that. Okay, right. Now, I'm going to click through these layouts now. Can you see that the choices that I made in my master slide at the top are now all placed on all of the different types of layout? Okay, so it's all set up for me to use. At this point now, I close the master. So this is little cross, cross here. Click on close master and I can get started. So if I add a new slide now, 
all of my slides now follow my theme that I have created and I can start to build my presentation using my bespoke custom theme. And that's how you create a bespoke custom master slide theme using Google Slides. Have fun everyone!